Welcome back to the AWS SCS workshop deep dive series. In our previous session, we covered the workshop overview and prerequisites. Now, we are going to dive into the foundational steps of email and domain identity setup. This is a critical part of using Amazon SCS as it establishes your verified sending identities. By the end of this module, you will have configured both an email address and a domain identity, setting the stage for sending emails through SCS. Let's start with the scenario. Imagine you are working for AWS Awesome Newsletter, or let's call it Awesome Newsletter, a company that sends out regular newsletters via email. To improve your mailing reputation and ensure better email deliverability, you need to set up and verify both email and domain identities with Amazon SCS. Let's start with email entity verification. This process proves that you own the email addresses you will be using to send from. So, I'll walk you through adding an email address and completing the verification steps shortly. Let me first explain why this matters. Just like you need ID to send physical mail from a post office, you need verified identities to send emails through ACS. So, to start with the first lab, we'll start with verifying an email address. This will be your primary sender address for the workshop exercises. Since we are in the ACS sandbox environment, this verification is particularly important as you can only send to verified addresses while in sandbox environment. Let me show you the verification process. First, we will use the AWS CLI to create an email identity. In this case, I am using a test email address of mine. Next, we should receive a verification email from AWS and we need to click the verification link in the email to complete the verification process. And now we can check the verification status using the CLI as mentioned in the workshop here. We are first listing the email identities in the account by using list email identities. Next lab for domain verification. Domain verification is more powerful as it covers all addresses in your domain and it also enables important authentication methods. With workshop event participants, we will use a pre-verified subdomain available that is actually highlighted here. And if you are running the workshop on your own, you can verify your own domain by making the necessary DNS changes needed to verify and properly authenticate your sending domain. And if you do not want to configure DNS for your own domain, you do not need to take any further verification steps here and you can use the verified email identity instead. Coming back to the pre-verified subdomain to use in this workshop, we can use AWS Cloud Shell to actually again list the domain identities here and then we can verify the domain identity by using the get email identity API. As we can check the domain identity using get email identity, we can see several important attributes including the verification status and authentication settings here. Before we look at the settings, let me explain an important concept in email authentication, DKIM or let's call it domain keys identified email. Think of DKIM as a digital seal on your emails. So when you send an email, your domain adds a unique digital signature to it. The receiving server can then verify the signature using a public key stored in your DNS records. This confirms two important things. That is, the email truly came from your domain and the content hasn't been tampered with during transit. This is why Amazon SCS uses DKIM as the primary method to verify and manage domain identities. It is not just an optional security feature, it is an integral part of the domain verification process. You can't complete domain verification without setting up DKIM successfully. So now looking at the response from our get email identity command, we can see that the signing enabled attribute is true, the status shows success, and we have the DKIM tokens properly configured. This means our domain is fully verified and authenticated, ready for sending emails through SES. And for those interested in verifying their own domain, the process would involve generating DKIM tokens for your domain, adding these tokens in your DNS settings and waiting for SES to detect and verify these records. 
it might usually take somewhere between few minutes to even 72 hours depending on your dns provider but since we are using the workshop's pre-verified domain here all of this is already set up and working the dkm verification is complete and we are ready to start sending emails now in our next video we will explore different methods of sending emails through scs using these verified identities we have just confirmed thank you for watching and see you in the next one